Kofi Bentel, as a yes. practicing lawyer and a senior vice president at Amani, yes. you must have some very interesting perspectives on the importance of governance and how that relates to economic openness and economic development. Right, yes. Um, we've been at this for a while, and um, we've always um, linked the two issues. Um, as far as we are concerned, the laws of economics are laws of nature. What I mean by that is that if you have a certain set of circumstances, you're going to get a certain reaction. So uh, laws of nature like gravity, you throw something up, it's going to come down. You can't do anything about that. Now, what sets the circumstances for people to react or for a certain economy to take root and flourish is governance. And therefore, it's not a matter of um, economics happening by itself or people using theories to convince people to do certain things. For us, we believe that it is a certain set of circumstances that will make people act in a certain way economically. And those sets of circumstances are created by governance systems. So it's absolutely crucial. And I'm, I'm straining to say, much as we want a certain type of economic situation, we think we should not go at it directly. We should rather affect the governance system. We should get the people in leadership to make a certain set of rules. And then you're going to get you know, a certain natural reaction, which is economic in nature, mm -hmm. and that is sustained, and that will give us the uh, prosperity we want. The opposite is true. If you have a governance system which sets a certain kind of circumstance, then you're going to get a certain kind of economic reaction, economic behavior. Mm -hmm. And you can, there's no amount of um, um, force that you can use to change the natural, normal human behavior to those circumstances. So governance for us is really the sine qua non. It, it's absolutely crucial to making sure that you have the right economic systems that you know, generate the prosperity that you need for. And when looking at Ghana today, what are the critical circumstances and rules that you would like to see changed? Um, again, if you speak between governance and economics, so uh, we like to say that the average Ghanaian is socialist. And what we, say, what we mean when we say that is that the average Ghanaian would like government to do everything for them. Mm -hmm. However, living in this place, I always tell my friends that even though the average Ghanaian wants socialist outcomes for themselves, when it comes to their property, they are very libertarian about it. They want to keep their property, they want to use it for themselves, and they do not want to share it with anybody else. However, that um, feeling, or that, that it, it translates into a demand, okay? That pressure that our people bring to bear on governments and leaders to do things for them is the kind of pressure that our leaders are not able to resist. So as we speak, we've just instituted a free school system, uh, basic education all the way to secondary school. People want free things all over the place. We have, we have one of the most generous national health insurance systems in the world. All right, and we have a number of you know things that are essentially government freebies to the state. Um, ours is a poor country; we are not rich, so many people would need that kind of help. But I doubt if as many people as are asking for it need that. Okay, if you ask me what do I want to change, I wish our leaders would grow a bit of a spine and be able to explain, be able to articulate coherently the position that you may want this, but it's not good for you. Yeah. You may want this, but spending that kind of money on just giving you stuff like this is not going to help you in the long term. And the inability to coherently explain that in a way that is you know, convincing to make people change what they are looking for and to make people kind of do some things for themselves, for me, is a big worry. And it doesn't matter who goes into office. They feel this real need to please people by giving them things. And ultimately, we end up spending a lot of money in the wrong places just because we want to please people. And I really wish that would change because we could get better economic outcomes if we apply those resources differently. Great. Goofy, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Very much. That's good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Great. That's lovely.